In this video, I am going to discuss about difference of cubes formula. Difference of cubes formula. Let's consider the following. Let's say I have a cube minus b cube, by the way. And that, by the way, is going to be a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. This is the difference of cubes formula. And I'm going to actually show you that it does, in fact, uh, turn out to be a cube minus b cube, the right-hand side, if you multiply it out. So let's go ahead and, and do this and actually show you that uh, through multiplication, we can get the left-hand side. So a times um, a square is going to be a cube. Then a times a b is going to be a square b then a times b square is going to be a b square. Now similarly do the same thing, negative b times a square is negative a square b, then negative b times uh, a b is negative a b square, then negative b times b square is negative b cube. Now look, this and this cancel out because a square plus b minus a square minus a square b is zero. Then a b square positive and negative a b square cancel out. That leaves you behind with a cube minus b cube. Exactly what you have started with. So our formula for difference of cubes is a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. Now, let's go ahead and give an example here uh, so that you can see things in action. So, example is going to be 64 x cube minus, um, uh, let's make it uh, 1000 y cube. We need to factor it. Now, 64, by the way, as you know, is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64, which is 4 cube. So, 64x cube, I could rewrite it as 4x whole cube. Then minus, also 1000 is, by the way, 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 cube. So, 1000y cube, I could rewrite it as 10y whole cube. Now this exactly looks like difference of cubes. In my context, a is 4x and b is 10y. Now my formula says it has to be a minus b, that means 4x minus 10y, then times a square means 4x, not 4x squared. That's not what you want, is 4x whole square. Then we have plus AB plus AB, which means 4X times B is 10Y, 10Y, plus B square means 10Y. Once again, it's not 10Y square, it's rather 10Y whole square. Now, if I simplify it, I get the following. I get uh, 4X minus 10Y which, by the way, is just this, then 4x whole square is 16x square, then plus 4x plus 10y is 40xy, because 4 times 10 is 40, x times y is xy, plus 10y square, 10y whole square, which is, by the way, going to be 100y square. Now, let's go ahead and uh, uh, finish it off. So, if we basically, we found that this thing is equal to this, 64x cube minus 1000y cube could be factored into this. If you really want to be a little bit more uh, careful uh, and simplify it further, you could. By the way, from the first factor, you could factor out a 2, and from the second factor, you could factor out a 4. So, technically, you could factor out 8 from both of them and then simplify it. But as far as I'm concerned, this is good enough. Uh, I'm happy with this if you get to this point. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.